Here we go, guys. Round one of the finals. Remember, we're at a best of five now, so these players are going to have a little bit more time to feel each other out and adapt their strategies accordingly. All righty. Pre-bans locked in right here. Doc Onimusha getting pre-banned by Diligent and the Volantis getting pre-banned by Angry Mormon. Very important free bands, I'd call them. Ongyuki has just been tearing it up this season. Volantis too, but Ongyuki truly with those cleave comps. Wow, Oliver immediately next, Tian Lang in second. That's right, and we brought that up before. Uh, Tian Lang's almost definitely gonna be hitting the field when you're gonna be taking an Oliver. Angry Moment's gonna be locking in the Molly in the water, Holly Berry. Hmm, I'm a little bit nervous about this for Angry Marmot because he has yet to display a turn two bruiser style comp in this tournament. Perhaps he's he's more comfortable with it than I think, but this is a pretty drastic shift from what he brought in his opening games here. Meanwhile, Diligent is drafting what he's very comfortable playing. Yeah, I did not like that Bulvac pick there because I felt like he was gonna go with a Bulvac and into like a Mo Long potentially, but this resets and too much attack bar pushback on the other side of the field. I don't think that was going to be the draft there. Juno and Masha look like they're potentially getting locked in by Angry Mormon. Oh, swaps oh. over to a Jehoshaphine. I like that a little bit better. Oh, the Nefties brings in quite a bit of pressure here and tells me that maybe he wants to ban out the Juno, but I don't think you can expect the Nefties to actually make it through. Uh, yeah. I think Angry Marmot's in a position where he's got to ban that. Yeah, I feel like you got to ban out the Nefties when you, when you already locked in that Juno there, because that's exactly what that's saying to me. And there's no way you let that Juno through if you think your Nefties is getting banned out as well. So let's see what happens. These players definitely have a couple options out here. Yeah, we might see a situation where Diligent kind of reads the situation two steps ahead and doesn't ban the Juno, Oh, but he takes the ban. Seems like he wasn't totally sure what his opponent was going to ban there, so he just went for the safe one instead. Yep. Well, we've got speed leads for both teams here, but I'm definitely not expecting Angry Mormon's team to be going first. Absolutely not, Stoic. And Sekhmet instead takes turn one. And there's some reset targets here, including like the Josephine goes for the mana to deny the skill too that gives that infinite in immunity and defense buff. Yeah, he was looking to get that despair stun on the mana. Not gonna be happening here. Mana's already starting to pop up just a little bit with some parries here. Here's the thing that you notice going into this when you got that increased cooldown time option from Sekhmet is that everything on Angry Marmot's side has really low cooldowns. Nice proc from the Tian Lang into skill too. Wow, look at that additional damage popping out there. Josephine's already pretty much gone here. Beautiful heal blocks are popping up as well. He needs to push back the attack bar and it does get resisted. Oliver is glanced though, looking for any attack bar pushback, not receiving anything at all. Yeah, and that's the one time where you actually really want the attack bar here to, because even feeding the Tian Lang would have just pushed him up next in the turn order and he already had full attack bar. Oh, Oof. this Tian Lang won't stop Stoic. No, this Tian Lang will not stop the additional, the, the additional turns. It's very, very impressive when you're able to keep up with that damage. And you can just see the numbers this Tian Lang's producing right now. It's putting out so much damage on this field. You saw that from Angry Marmot there. He has the game plan. He's got his sights locked on the Tian Lang. If he kills that thing, Manon and Oliver in combination might actually be able to take this game still, believe it or not, because the, cons the consistent source of defense break will be off the table. Yeah, you got Oliver trying to do it his best impression of Tian Lang, and I'm not sure it is going to be enough here. Defense break does land on top of the Tian Lang as well. And Diligent looking to get rid of that Molly does successfully get rid of the unit. Here we go, this is the thing. He's shifting targets here, but I don't necessarily know if that's really what you want to do. I think you still, you just want to capitalize on the defense break as much as humanly possible. Well, the thing is, is the Manon might be the unit to get rid of it here. If he can get a um, parry off of any of those hits and doesn't receive a single parry. Now, one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of this unit is a 1v4 is still on the table here, Evan. <laughs> It is, but I still feel like he played it a little dangerously there, Stoic. I th oh, that was a huge confirm by killing the Tian Lang, but he did get close to the danger zone there by not hitting the Tian Lang uh, and instead choosing to hit the Chung Fung, but now it's looking like the Water Hollyberry might lock down. 
We'll see what happens. I mean, Chung Pong's going to be playing a very big role, able to reset attack our pushback as well, but he needs to get these parries off and does not receive a parry there. Diligent taking round one away from Angry Mormon. Against all odds, the Sekhmet, the fire unit, is the one to land the defense break on the water hollyberry right there, Stoic. Notably, none of the other none of the other debuffs that she's trying to put on skill two. She lands the one that matters. God bless Sekhmet. She really wanted Diligent to win that one, and she took the point for him. Well, early into that match as well, Segment was the one that landed the heal blocks, and those heal blocks were insane to remove two units from that field there. Molly wasn't able to heal um, unit on far right that I can't remember right now, and even heal herself there, all thanks to Segment. So she brought so much volatility and, and honestly gave a lot of favor to, uh, to Diligent's draft. Definitely MVP in that situation. There were a couple tough calls made by Angry Marmot there. Like I still would have liked to see him just just hit the T on Lang earlier. Because if he did if he did that, then the Oliver would have still been alive a little longer. Maybe even the Molly wouldn't have been kill confirmed at that point too. But it's still hoping for that 15% proc rate, and uh, it's really looking like 15% in these games, Stoic. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I think I still think that. The decisions that Angry Moment made, I'm going to stand by them because I think what he was hoping for is all those additional hits from the Tian Lang. That could have been a parry and that Tian Lang could have been off the table sooner than, inspect than, it's than expected. The Onkyuki and the Volantis are on the drafting table again. Let's see what gets banned out. I was expecting to see the Oliver, but the Nikki was a small surprise to me. Maybe it's to deny it in combination with that Onkyuki. Yeah, Nikki and Oliver. So to see the Oliver getting banned out, I feel like I want to say Angry Moment's gonna try his uh, try his luck with uh, drafting Tian Lang himself, but we'll see. D Diligent going for the classic uh, Shizuka first pick as he's established in this game. There's the Onkyuki that we knew was going to follow, and that makes it ever more likely that the Nikki was banned out to deny the attack buff on it. There's a lot of other ways that you could probably bring attack buff to the table, but honestly, the Dako Nimusha doesn't even need it. He brings so much damage to the table here. Wind Robo is going to get locked in next to that Dako Nimusha. Diligent looking to respond. Dang Skippy. He's got to put something here. I don't know if he wants to revenge this. I don't know if he wants to just outlast it. Masha tells me he wants to just outlast it if he can, but we've seen Masha crumble to Ongiuki before. A little revenge interruption is welcome, but you're afraid to stun the Ong Ongiuki. Yep, that's right. There's Masha. Volantis getting locked in. Ragdoll and Juno. Looks like they're going to be hitting the table Tion for Angry Lang. Moment. <laughs> Just like that, like clockwork. You see Juno, you see Ragdoll. You can guarantee there's going to be a Tian Lang after that for Diligent. 100% Tian Lang gets drafted and probably will get banned as well because I don't think he can deal with a unit like that. Interesting that he's going to be bringing a, a Nana to the table. I, I feel like if Angry Moment locks in the Nana, you, you're free to ban the Dako Musha and then you just play accordingly. Yeah, that's the thing, Stoic. Like, it's a little too passive. You really want to bring something else that offers some sort of threat, like the Ongyuki in that slot. Meanwhile, I did like the Abelio for when Diligent wasn't banning the Ongyuki, but I feel like now maybe he is. Let's see here. Because, I mean, with this Wusa last pick, he could actually ban out the Volantis and not giving a strip to Diligent, but the only strip would be the Tian Lang, and he'd gain a lot of attack bar from that Juno and... And Ragdoll. Whoa. Wow. I was not expecting a Masha ban out there. They, I, yeah, I wasn't expecting a Masha ban. I wasn't even expecting the Wusa ban. I guess he's really, Diligent is really expecting the Shizuka to make some waves here when it's just, when it's just Juno on the other side. Instead. I'm expecting here we go, Tian guys. Lang to make some waves. We'll see what <sighs> happens though. Tian Lang already looking like his attack bar wasn't even reduced with all that extra gain. Nice stun on the Wind Robo and Onkyuki quick to cut Tian Lang's health in half. It really did. That's so much damage this stack when Amusha is able to produce here. No Despair Stun's going to be coming out here. I think he's going to rock the skill too. Just put out more damage there. Looks like he's going to go for the defense break on top of the Dark uh, Dark Onimusha as well. He needs to heal up that Tian Lang though. He does, but he's really debating using Wild Blow here instead just to try to get some damage in. Opts for what I would say is the safer play. 
definitely the safer play indeed. Additional turns popping out. Does have glancing. Can't pummel as much damage as he wants here. On top of the defense break with that T and Lang. We've got skills available with the Shizuka. We could go for all things and drop that down. Don't do here. it. There's a stun in the pool. Don't do it. Nice. Awesome. Clutch avoidance there. Diligent almost was in a position to stun the Ongyuki on accident uh, and give him a free attack buff, basically. Yep, he keeps doing more damage, more additional turns coming out of this Tian Lang. Tian Lang has been an absolute all staff for Diligent. Oh, yeah, proccing as many times as he can, denying attack Whoa. bar. He's doing everything he can. Here we go. Yeah. Big skill two from Volantis to confirm the kill on Ongyuki, maybe? Why? I was really considering. There we go. I, I agree with that. I really like that decision there. Um, it's more damage, more dots on the field here. Looking for potential stuns there on top of this Wind Robo. Not actually receiving it, though. I think he's good to... Uh, he has to get back in his, his um, I guess, Druid form, not the bad form here. He's going to go for the Wild Bow to get him transformed back there. A little bit of damage coming towards the uh, Ragdoll. Yeah, good call there. He needed to get back to Abelio. Unfortunately, the Tian Lang does work against the Abelio draft, cutting the attack bar gain in half. But it's still more valuable in the long term to be in the Druid form as much as possible. Trying to get stuns only manages to get it on the one unit you don't want to stun stun. Yep, I think he has to go for all things now. There's Unless he goes for a skill 2 to try and save his Volantis, and that is what he's going to be doing here. No strip is going to be available with the Wind Robo, unless, of course, the Wind Robo is able to get additional turn, which is not happening here. Fishing for recent, just some more damage whenever possible. I don't think he wants to push the Ragdoll if he can. Here comes Definitely Tian doesn't. Lang to try to do Tian Lang things. Apply defense break, do a little additional damage. Let's see if the Volantis can <laughs> or manage to die. Or just get additional die. turns the either way. <laughs> Every time, Stoic. Wow, great damage from the Ragdoll, though. Able to pit oh, not potentially drop two, tur uh, two units here. I feel like I would have went for that, though, uh, to drop the Volantis, but... That's not what's going to happen. We do have all things still available. Diligent has yes, yet pressed that third skill. It's time for... No, it's time for the all things. You got to stun it up and reapply the, the soul protection on the Volantis here. That's what needed to happen. That would have been great, but still he gets to revive. But I would have liked to see him take that window of opportunity. Yeah, well, Juno, I think, is in great positioning to pretty much finish Diligent off. Well, not maybe not the Juno, but... Juno should be able to stay alive, and I think Diligent's trying to get rid of this Juno here because he sees it as a big threat. Yeah, you're right. Juno does present a really big threat in the long term, especially oh. after applying so many debuffs like that. Yep, definitely. That revenge there to finish off the Volantis. It's just a Shizuka and a, uh, um, a Balio that it's all that's left on the field right now. Glancing on top of the Ragdoll. I'm sure this Glancing isn't going to do too much there uh, uh, against Diligent. Oh, he really wanted to despair stun there to just try to deny some damage, but instead pushed Shizuka down far enough that now Abelio could kill the Juno if he wanted to. Opt instead to just heal up the Shizuka to keep it around longer. We have yet to see all things. I'm reminded of one of the rounds that we saw at the America Summit Stoic where uh, the Shizuka just held on to the skills a little too long. Yeah, I can't remember what match that was, but this might be the case of it, but if Diligent's able to get rid of this... Um... This Juno, he's going to be free for all things, and he's going to really take advantage of that. But he would have had that skill up maybe two times already if he had used it in the past. But we'll see yeah. what happens here, because I do believe Angry Moment's going to be taking this round number two. Thankfully, that is it's not over after this. Like we said, we are shifted over to a best of five. So these players aren't at match point yet. If Angry Marmot takes this one, ooh, the proc from the Ragdoll is going to secure the win. It's just going to expedite things. Angry Marmot tying it up one to one. A really good match that really dragged out there. And it's so interesting when you get put in positions where you almost don't want to use skills like that. So Juno really is not something that Diligent wanted to have to deal with throughout that match there. So I don't know if Diligent, be uh, Diligent. Uh, I don't know if Juno becomes a free ban for Diligent. Uh, or a unit that he might prioritize to take away from him, but we'll see as we get into round number three. I do think the Shizuka, though, is something that Diligent's going to try and lock down again. Yeah, it's so funny because, like, normally you wouldn't expect to see Juno show up in a pre-ban, right? But with the way that Diligent has been 
really playing around the Shizuka at every opportunity, either denying it from somebody, pre-banning it, or taking it himself. It, maybe it behooves him to ban out one of the counters for it. But yeah, there were some really interesting decision points there as we went through the game, where it's like, do I pop the skill three right now and risk or guarantee the heal on the Juno and make it so it's ever so closer to soloing me? Yep. Well, Nikki and Oliver now available as we get into round number three. Definitely expecting Dakoni Mush to get put under the blade once again in the pre bans. Tian Lang getting the pre ban as well. Both players have this Tian Lang here, and it still gets pre banned here. I think that's a smart pre ban. It, it's just a hindrance to everybody. Every strategy that they're trying to employ, the Tian Lang seems to be there to just be a bother stoic even when abelio was on the team for diligent he was cutting the attack bar exactly looks like diligent's going to be leaning on a masha here he's going to be looking at one more pick to respond towards the oliver and it is going to be geos the first time we've seen the win omni yuji getting uh win omni yuji uh um yeah win omni yuji Yo, getting drafted ironic out. you will know her name stoic yeah <laughs> I, I was super ironic and i didn't even know her name i didn't know her name. i said Gyo. i did say Gyo. But you will know her name, you know. Nikki, potentially being drafted by Angry Marmot. Potentially. And furthermore, being reconsidered by Angry Marmot. The <laughs> Miles. We haven't seen a Miles this whole tournament just yet. Scale works really well with Oliver's speed lead to guarantee additional damage on the passive. Uh, let's see how Diligent wants to reply to that. I mean, Diligent could actually reply with a uh, potential Ragdoll Leo really disrupting the uh, the speed damage coming from uh, Angry Mormit, but we'll see if Leo, Leo could still be a fifth pick though. I like the Leo, the Ragdoll, there's not a lot of critting units, although they do do a lot of damage. Maybe that could be a nice fifth pick. Oh, really choosing a lot of supports. Gyo is looking stronger and stronger as we go though. Yep, definitely. That's a very heavy water team coming out of Angry Mormit. I mean, I do like the team. It's going to be a lot of buffs. Bolvax definitely going to get a lot of um, uh, stacks in a, in a draft like this right now. Yeah, this is looking like Diligence in a really safe place to just pick a, a Wind Punish and ban out the Bulwark. That's kind of what this is reading like. That is not a Wind Punish. That's almost the exact opposite of a Wind Punish. And I am not a fan of that Nana. And the Nana does get locked in here. So the, the volatility right now that Diligent has to gain orbs is in the form of a Masha. And that is a fire unit up against four water units on the other side of the field. I don't like this. But Nana's I, still going to get the ban out here. That's yeah, I, under I understand the ban on the Nana just because the Angry Marmot by banning the Nana means that he gets a really clean setup with Miles and to kill on with the Reckless. But the thing is there, I just didn't like the diligent response of picking the Juno after all that water had been presented stoic. I, we're gonna have to see how this pans out, guys. Here we go. We're looking to get one of these players in match point position. There was some big resistance on Gyo. Gyo is also another unit known to be on max resistance. Not receiving the strip second skill for Kama. But the additional turns coming out here for Shizuku with a little bit of poke damage into a reckless assault. Oh, Gyo looking to be max res, but not max X stoic. You hate to see it already down a unit diligent playing three to four and two of them are fine. Yeah, well, what diligent really needed was an additional turn there to help take out that Oliver, because if he doesn't drop that Oliver in soon, I don't see how diligent could come back. I mean, there's the defense break with, once again, no additional turn. I do think Oliver's going to kill. Oh, never mind! <laughs> Oliver's going to get revenged and murdered by the Juno. You didn't expect to see it for free there. That it seemed like he's so far ahead that it doesn't matter, but that seemed like just an unnecessary risk to take from Angry Marmot. In that case, you just hit, just use skill one, just hit the Masha or something, you know? Yeah, but he's definitely. so far ahead, it won't make the difference. That's yeah, really big. Great additional turn there coming out of Angry Mormon. Able to get the dismount on top of the Masha. No despair stones coming out from the Juno here. That's funny. Masha normally loves to crit in these situations. Uh, if she didn't crit there, it looks like uh, it looks like that might be it. I I think it's safe to say that Angry Marmot definitely won in the pick ban phase. Oh, uh, 100%. I mean, Diligent did not answer well to all those water units here, being left with a Masha and a Juno. Just I don't see Juno doing her job. She's doing great additional damage though. Like we're seeing good numbers for additional damage coming from the Juno, but that's not what we need to be seeing. 
Uh, we need to see so much more. Potentially, we just need to see a better draft coming out of Diligent. Yeah, that's, that is enough to put Angry Marmot at match point range. We are now in best of five. So that means Diligent needs to adapt right now. And I don't, adapting is not drafting the Juno after water monsters are presented, so. Yep, not at all. That was not a very adaptive draft whatsoever. I don't know if it was the pre ban that threw him off here. I have no clue, but definitely expecting to see a change of pace here. Obviously, the Dako Onimusha is now going to be available. I think Diligent does shift back to banning out that Nikki once again. Should Diligent be pre-banning the Nikki as we get into round number four? I don't know if Nikki should, again, be the pre-ban. Yeah, probably not. I would prefer to, to ban whatever comes after the Nikki setup. There's, there's more there to pre-ban. Yeah, that game was definitely a well-drafted one from Angry Marmot, especially, but that is not to speak down towards Diligent. Diligent has already been named the best the best RTA player once in terms of an SWC champion title. So he is really great, and he can absolutely turn this around, and he can tie it up right now. I actually believe in him, so like, I think that he probably has proven that he works really well under pressure. Oh, 100%. If there's anybody that works well under pressure and can turn things around from being down a match, it is Diligent. Diligent's the kind of player to do that here. We'll find out if he's got what it takes right now as we get into round number four against Angry Mamet and Diligent. And as a reminder to everyone watching, this could potentially be the last game of the night. Angry Marmot now at match point position in our best of five here. Diligent needs to shape up the draft to make sure that he can take that one point away and get us to that fifth match. All right, well, three bands getting locked in. Like we said, the Dakoni Musha now available and the Tian Lang as well. I do believe Diligent has first pick in this match, if I'm not wrong. Yes, I think I think you're right. We're gonna have to see. He does. Good memory there, Stoic. The Nikki is back in the pre-ban section, and the Manon is getting pre-ban. That tells me that Angry Marmot is going to try to cleave. Yeah, that's what that says to me. I think we're gonna be seeing uh, more AOE, uh, maybe a uh, uh, control cleave, which I think yeah, is great for Diligent to be taking the Oliver first pick. Absolutely, the lack of a Nikki. We're gonna have to see how that affects it, but really the. The banning the most popular way to counter a turn one play is signaling something fast. But now look at Diligent, kind of ahead of the curve here. Getting to that turn one comp before Angry Marmot can, that's where you really see the advantage of being in that first pick scenario and being able to respond and take units accordingly. And now Angry Marmot shifts. And I like this draft from Diligent. You've shown that he was going to be taking a Molly draft, signaling he's going to go with a turn two. I much rather see this draft out of Diligent. Diligent's bringing high volatility in the form of Han. He's going to bring another high damage unit uh, for his last two picks here. I think the Nana is still okay. And oh, very interesting, but it is a very turn one team. We're going to see a Neftis and Gianna getting locked in for Diligent here. <laughs> Diligent looking like he's eating a box of cereal. Oops, all speed leads. Except for the Gianna. <laughs> Angry <laughs> Marmot's got a lot really of really fast, though. So yeah, really he's fast. All, he's There's... all speed right now. He's all speed all the time. Let's see how he responds. Tetra, so that's trying to announce I'm not banning the Nefties. Perhaps he's trying to ban out the Han to avoid an early kill stoic. Uh, and maybe the... Uh, 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 perhaps the second. Yeah, not banning out the Marmot's Gianna side. with the, the Tetra here. Um... I do think he, he still lets that that Tetra through. It might just be the, the Tian Lang that just gets the ban once again. Nefties hmm. and the Tetra. Nice call there. I was expecting maybe he maybe he just ban out the segment to really deny turn one, but he doesn't want his bombs to not detonate. That was a lot that was a double negative. He wants his bombs to detonate stone. Yes, yeah, he wants his bombs to go off. There's no immunity <laughs> on the other side of the field, but there is a reset. And I don't believe this segment's going to be going over this uh, Gianna here. You can see that Gianna's got more attack bar than that segment. Only going for skill one to get the defense break on uh, the attack break on top of uh, Masha. Well, well played there from Diligent to get the stuns on the opponent's side. Segment is free to do it, but gets resisted. resisted. This is how Segment oh. performs everywhere else. I tell you, Stoic. I think Diligent goes for the dismount right now on that Masha. It's going to be the free damage to take that unit down, and he is going to be doing that with the third skill of Han. 
And if, oh my god, we're gonna see a, a turn coming out here from Masha. Masha looking to get the defense break on top of the Han. Does receive it though. These exchanges are crazy. This match has not taken a slow turn yet. Everybody exchanging blows like like madness. An additional turn popping oh, out from Oliver man. trying to reset somebody else. Yeah, Oliver's popping off right there, able to take three turns there. And we've got the dismount from Moore and a lot of additional damage popping out from Diligent might be able to take that first soul star you don't want to use it on masha though because you don't want to go for that full dismount again he's instead working down segment confirms the kill soul shard off the table and now he just needs to take out that masha before it kills the han yeah angry moment's getting his additional turns here popping and he needs to drop his on to get that ore back onto the nana here we're gonna see the attack break potentially go out top of the t and lane no look at a confirmed kill on top of the segment though no defense break is gonna land but does finish off the han bomb's gonna be coming out on top of t and lang more most most likely Ooh, and this game just got a lot more complicated for, for Diligent right now. Now he needs to kind of navigate this a little bit. He got the Soul Shard back again. And Nana's just waiting, perch, ready to take all the stacks of her passive that she can. Yeah, no defense breaks came out with the curse of beautiful. He has the glancing up. I feel like I wouldn't have went for the Tian Lang on that one. I feel like I just would have more poke damage coming towards the segment. But I could be wrong. Looking for despair stuns and does land a despair stun on top of the Gianna. That Gianna can't die yet. In Diligent's eyes, you don't want to get the Soul Shard back on before Masha takes the bomb. Clutch reduced, Ooh, Masha goes down. Really Diligent is Diligent. looking to be in a position to tie it up. He is, he's looking very good right now. Oliver is able to push back more of these attack bars. Probably gonna stay on top of that T in length. I don't think he can care less with this Nana's gonna be good. He does go for the Nana though, which is quite interesting. Yeah, I guess I guess he's trying to play it safe. To me, playing it safe is killing the T on Lang as soon as he is possible though. That's what I say. Dealing with the TN Lang is definitely what needed to be done, and he did it diligent, taking round four away from Angry Mama. We're going into a game five, guys. Oh, here we go. Now, this is how I like my Legend tournaments. Not how Stoic likes his, but this is how I like mine. I'm so sorry to say that was an excellent game. So much interesting interplay, especially at the beginning. Stoic, that, that opener was so fast and huge. Huge plays were being made from both sides. Yep, definitely. I love the adjust there from Diligent going with the Han. I feel like this play style is much better, especially uh, for someone the likes of uh, Angry Moment here. He needs to bring that high volatility, the fast teams in there. Um, we saw a... Um, wait, Manum was part of the uh, uh, pre-band, was it not? Yes, it was. It was one of those opening pieces that kind of declared what sort of play style he was going for. I think that was a really good point there, Stoic, because I think what Diligent did really well is kind of disrupting Angry Marmot's headspace going into that because it made him feel unsafe picking that that cleave comp that he was clearly trying to pick going in by banning out the, the man. And here we go, everyone. The last pre-bans of the night, Ongyuki and Nephthys. These units will not be appearing on the table tonight. And I want to reiterate, Diligent versus Angry Marmot, both players at match point. We're at our fifth possible match. Whoever wins this is going to be our season 24 legend. All right, let's see what Angry Moment's going to prioritize going up against Diligent because it could be a little, uh, some, could be many things, whether it's Oliver, whether it's Tian Lang, whether it's Oliver, or Oliver again, it's <laughs> Oliver, <laughs> and Tian it Lang, it's Tian Lang, and Sekhmet's gonna get drafted. I don't know how I feel about Sekhmet. I do like the adjustment to the Masha just a little bit better. Mm. Diligent, trying to counter you there, Stoic. I also like the Masha a little better. I'm with you on that one because I think having the two counters for Oliver gives you a little bit more freedom in what comes what comes after because uh, Angry Marmot could snipe the Masha, though that's not exactly the highest contested unit in play. Does he want to do it? It's a little spiteful. Yeah, definitely a little spiteful indeed. Two speed leads out here for Angry Marmot. Just because he already has that segment, I do think Diligent needs to lock in speed leads. I feel like the Neftis has to pop out here. Um, and I, I don't like the Molly play. I don't like that passive play coming from Diligent. That's not what you need to do to win game five. Sitting here and receiving damage is not how you're going to win this match here. You can't guarantee that a Molly is going to save you. Honestly, you can't guarantee mm -hmm. that a man is going to save you either. And I like the adjustment mm -hmm. to the Montos. Here we go. Now, this is the turn two that he needed to kind of change into. I think maybe Diligent is feeling a little bit trapped, considering that 
three out of the four speed leads that we saw in the last game have been denied, whether in the pre ban or drafted on Angry Marmot's side. Here comes that Shizuka that Diligent has been so careful to play around the whole night, and the Miles coming back after his very successful win earlier in this very same matchup. Evan, do we just draft a Douglas as a last pick here and ban out the Miles, and then you're forcing oh. a Shizuka into a Juno? You know, that that's the sort of bold play that I really like. The only thing I'm afraid of is if it's a high attack more, then we're a little bit worried. Diligent is going for the ultimate passive comp here if he locks in the Riley. That's not to say it's impossible. It's just that it does lack a certain degree of damage that's being presented by Angry Marm. Yep, well, Riley does get locked in here. Bands are to be coming out shortly. I do think this Miles is going to be a little tough for, for Diligent to deal with, and I feel like you have to ban out that Miles. It might bring too much volatility with the stuns it can bring to the table. The damage that you just can't stop Miles can just be very, very powerful here. I'm with you. I could see the Miles or the Chung Pung, considering that it's one of the few ways that he could maybe strip the entire team. Instead goes for the follow-up. Uh-oh, Stoic, this, this could be the darkest timeline, considering that Miles has that single target strip into big damage, but one way or another, here we go the final round of the legend tournament for rta season 24. that's right guys let's get into it i'm giving a lot of favor right now to angry mom and i am a fan of his draft and let's see if diligent can stop that with a reset on top of that chung hung he may just go for the stun early on the pontos let's see if he aims to do that if it'll land because that's a whole other question stoic if it land big res from the pontos yeah, big res right here, and his spare suns does get the full strip with the more here, and no skills are going to be up with this uh, Chung Pung. Oliver does have skill up, looking to push back potentially that Riley. Oh man, I gotta say, if Angry Marmot takes this, it has been foreshadowed the entire night, Stoic. That Shizuka has been a thorn in Diligent's side the whole time, and the one game where he finally bans it out is the one that he might lose the Legend Tournament for. But we'll have to see, there's still some games ahead of us, and Juno is still in play. Yeah, well, he, Diligent has got to save this Pontos. Riley's about to get a turn here, and it looks like he didn't choose to, to try and push back the attack bar of that Riley, and that might be what stops him. Does get a Despair Stun on top of the Oliver, and that might be exactly what Diligent needs. Big damage coming from this Miles, able to finish off that Pontos. That is very, very big for uh, um, Angry Moment. That's right, we sacrificed the Pontos over here. Can Diligent overcome this setback, both literally and mentally here? That's one of those units that you lose, and it kind of puts you in a bad headspace. Here comes Juno, she's following in line right after the Pontos. Miles is trying to take her out as quickly as possible, and that is the last line of defense for Diligent. If that Juno goes down, it's over. That's 100% right, Evan. We need to see Despair Stuns coming out for Diligent. He needs to try and drop this Oliver as soon as possible. He needs additional turns coming out of this Riley to heal his team up here. Diligent needs a lot of stats to align here to win this match. Absolutely. Yeah, I can't help but think that that ban might have locked it out. I could see either Chung or now in retrospect, I'm really seeing that Miles is that you suggested there, Stoic, being the, the one that needed yeah. to go. Oh, man. I mean, even without the additional turns coming from the Miles, Miles is going to be a thorn in the yeah. side throughout this entire match here. And that's showing right now. There's just not much you can do about the Miles. If that Shizuka was out on the field, we'd have Magic Mort second guessing himself at the third scale because he doesn't want this. Uh, the healing to come back from the Juno, where the Juno's already gone because Miles applies way too much damage here. A well-drafted match for Angry Mort, to be honest, for Diligent as well here, but it comes down to that ban, Evan. Oh, absolutely. Like we said, foreshadowed, Angry Marmot is our legend for RTA Season 24. The winner 